<laughs> oh my god, I don't have my glasses on. This is great. You want to do glasses? Perma Garden. What's the, what's, no, 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 it's fine, it's fine. What's the organization called again? Uh, Permaculture Design. Permaculture we, you're going to find the, the, the link. The link, the link, the, it's the, down the below. Okay, cool, that's fine. That's, that's fine. Far, it's the website. Okay. okay. You ready? Yes. Hi, everybody. Hi. Welcome to our uh, series that we're putting together to document our effort to build our own perma garden uh, right here in the backyard. So what is a perma garden? Uh, essentially, it's just a garden that uses permaculture principles. Uh, we did not invent this design that we are going to be building here today. We're actually taking a model that was created by the wonderful people at a French permaculture organization called permaculturedesign.fr. There's going to be links below for you to check out. Uh, they have put together an incredible model for essentially a small permaculture garden. Uh, and we are taking that model. We're customizing it in certain ways to fit our climate and the space that we have. We're doing this all right here in the backyard, which in case you haven't noticed is mostly uh, grass. This grass has been here for about the last 30 years, which is actually pretty good for fertility, but very bad in terms of how uh, compact the soil is. So that's one of the things we're gonna have to work with is kind of decompacting the soil. In total, we're gonna be working in a space of about 750 square feet. And we are doing this all in Beautiful, sunny California. We are in zone nine, hardiness zone nine. And if you don't know the hardiness zones, basically what that means is we are uh, the zone that does not experience winter frost or winter freezing. Why are we doing this project? Why are we choosing permaculture? Permaculture, it's a model that is inspired from the nature to mimic the nature because the nature was able to do an amazing job without us for a billion years. So the principle is just to mimic it and try to grow food as healthy as possible, organic and full of nutrient, uh, nutrients. Nutrients? Nutrients. Full of nutrients. Uh, sorry, I'm still learning English. Uh, yeah, because organic doesn't mean necessarily nutrients. Nutrient. Nutrient. Oh my god, this is very good. I'm just kidding, I don't know. No, it's so nutrient, it's nutrient, it's nutrient. I hate it so much. I know, I'm sorry. Okay. What we really want to do also is to respect life. We want to work with the life. The soil is a digestive system. It's full of billion and billion of microorganisms that works uh, with us, for us, to, uh, uh, to decompose the, the leaves, the, the branches, everything, and to bring back nutrients in, in the soil. So we don't need to to bring fertilizer. And also, more we have life in the soil and healthier is the garden and more they have nutrients to absorb and healthier they are and protected from uh, the fungi, from the disease, etc. So we wanna, we just wanna put ourselves back inside of that ecosystem and not like working against it. Permaculture design, they create that model that you follow step by step during three years. Through that step by step, we're gonna learn a lot about many things. We're gonna learn a lot about how the soil work, how the interaction with the, uh, the, uh, the, the life work, how the plants work, how the seed work, how the mulch work, etc., etc. And that's one of the things that I uh, find interesting about permaculture is that it is such a uh, learning-based system. You're constantly observing and seeing how systems work and then making adjustments and then seeing how that works and then making more. It's a very scientific process. You're essentially exactly. observing, modifying, observing, modifying. Exactly. So what will our perma garden look like? Well, the design that we're working with has four zones. The first zone is the biodiversity zone. The second zone is a zone for fertility. The third zone is our annual crop zone. And the fourth zone is actually our walking paths. The biodiversity zone, it's a zone where we plant only perennial plants. The biodiversity zone has multiple functions, such as creating a microclimate, attracting uh, beneficial life uh, by providing them habitat, water, food. Would that and life include the frog that is currently croaking <laughs> in the background? Yes. Hi. Hi, frog. Come to our pond when we build it. Maybe they don't hear it, so they think you're lying. I'm not crazy. There is a frog croaking in the background. Yes, and we're going to have a pond, so it's going to be right here. Yeah. 
Um, and also, um, it's going to provide us food, perennial food that we don't have to plant uh, every year, uh, such as artichoke, for example, or strawberry. And it has multiple other functions uh, to give us material, dye, medicinal plant, etc. Our second zone is the fertility zone. So when we're growing all of these annual crops, uh, they are wonderful and nutritious. And part of them being nutritious is that, is that they're taking the nutrients out of the soil and putting it into our fruits and vegetables, which means we have to find a way to replace those nutrients for next year's season. Uh, one way to do that is to bring in outside fertilizers, which costs money and takes a lot of time and effort. Another way to do that is to plant a fertility zone. So what we do here is we plant uh, simple plants that grow a lot of green leafy bits that we can then chop and drop on our uh, annual crop zones, and that will eventually become wonderful nutritious uh, soil uh, and fertilizer for next season's plants. So this third zone, it's the annual crop zone. It's three beds that we're gonna plant uh, from April to October, uh, all the annual plants such as tomato, cucumber, potato, eggplant, etc. Uh, it's uh, very exciting and uh, uh, very delicious. And if we play our cards right, in less than six months, we, where we are standing, there will be wonderful, delicious food to eat. Yes. Mm. And we had to retake this one like five times. I'm sorry. Yeah. But we made it! <laughs> And then zone four is our walking paths. In most gardens, that wouldn't be uh, considered a planting zone, uh, but as, since we are following permaculture design principles, no space is wasted. Everything is interconnected. We want to utilize the space we have. So basically, that's uh, the big uh, picture of what we're going to do. Uh, it's a very passionate journey. We're going to learn a lot through it. I'm very excited. I can't wait. And we're excited to bring you all along the way so that as we fail horribly and discover new <laughs> things, we can share, share all of those things with you. Why are you laughing? Because we are going to fail. Yeah. But we're going to fail and then we're going to learn and then we're going to... We're human. And then we're going to try to do better. Okay. And then the next time we fail, we have no one to blame but ourselves. And now I'm going to blame you. Oh, that's fair. <laughs>